All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. And we appreciate you being with us today. And um, this is very informal. Like I said, we're, we're not professionals. Charlene's more of a professional than I am because she's the one that's done a book. And um, Well, I guess I can say I've done a movie, so. <laughs> Aren't we? <laughs> All right. I I ain't done nothing but made some videos. You've done a video, that's right, yeah. that was seen in town. Yeah, we want to hear about some of those adventures. But if you will, once again, just give us your full name. My name is Harsh Face. Okay, and your date of birth? Date of birth is November eighteenth, nineteen twenty-five. And your current address? My post office box is three four one. Blue, North Carolina. Okay. And I see this is your lovely wife here. Is she, has she passed away? Four, over four years ago. Over four years ago. What was her name? Her name was Hazel Forster. Hazel Forster? Yeah. And how long were you married? Right close to 60 years, left about 10 days. Wow. 60. That's unbelievable. What year did you get married? Fifty-eight, I think it was. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Goodness. Okay. What were your parents' names? My daddy's name was Ransom. Uh, they always called him Bud, Bud Pace, but his name was Ransom. And uh, my mother's name was Anna Middleton. Anna? Anna. Anna Middleton. Well, so tell us a little bit more about your childhood. You said you grew everything that you ate. So did you live on a, was this out on a farm that you? Well, uh, we didn't have a lot of farming land, but we had, we had a, a garden and we raised hogs and killed them. And uh, we had milk cows and uh, we didn't even, for a long, long time, we didn't even have a pasture to, to put their cows in. We had to, put a chain around their neck and take them out and let them graze and pick and, and feed like that. So, um, but I know you had to have done something fun when you were growing up. I do what? I know you had to have done something fun growing up. Did you, like on the weekends, did you all do anything, like go to any of the dances or did no, you play we, music at home? No, the, the most the fun we had, we had, a, we had, we had our own ball team. And we played ball. So the Paces had and an old ball team right there. That's right. When you had when you had seven brothers and si and seven sisters, you had your own ball team. And uh, uh, we would uh, uh, play ball, and uh, we'd get us an old cut us an old stick and make us a bat out of it, and then we'd take twine and make us a ball out of it, and. So you didn't have your own real baseball or real. Well, I never, I never remembered in my life I wanted to play toy, or or anything bought from a store to play with, like a baseball or anything. So at Christmas you didn't get a. At Christmas you may get an orange and a stick of candy, and uh, that was it. You know, you didn't have my parents didn't have the money to buy it. You know. Did you feel deprived? No. You were you happy? No. Well, sure, I was happy. Uh, but you know, uh, like I said uh, a minute ago, uh, when I grew up, I thought everybody was poor. It wasn't just us. You know, I didn't know no better. That's all I know all my life. But I bet looking back, you really now realize you were not really poor. Well, you had everything you needed. We 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 got along uh, mighty fine anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So you went into the service at what age? Eighteen. And what branch of service did you go into? I went into in, in the army. Into the army? Did you ever fight, fight in, a, in any war? Oh yeah. I was wounded on Friday the 13th, next day as Roosevelt died. Wow. You know how long ago that's been. Uh -huh. And uh, where were you when you were wounded? I was uh, wasn't too far from Czechoslovakia when I was wounded, and uh, they uh, 
They sent me back to the hospital, and uh, I had shrapnel in my thigh. There was a shell exploded. Uh, Whether well, it was shells exploding, uh, they had us pinned down, and there wasn't wasn't nothing falling on the other side of the road. And I, we just laying out there in the open field, didn't have time to dig a foxhole or anything. And so uh, I jumped up, was going to run across the road and get on the other side where there wasn't nothing falling. And the shell f come, fell behind me and uh, a couple of pieces of shrapnel went through my, in my thigh and my leg. And so I just, uh, uh, just kept on running on back to the to the rear end of the line, and they sent me back to the hospital. Then uh, the war was over while I was still in the hospital. Then they sent me back back to my outfit when I got out of the hospital. And uh, when, uh, when I got out of the hospital, they sent me back to my outfit, so I went ahead and uh, stayed over there for, I don't know, a few weeks. Well, he said I was low, low pointed, didn't have enough points, you know, to stay in, over there. They were going to send me back to the United States in a 30 day furlough and send me to South Pacific. They were going to give me six or eight weeks training. Well, I came home on the 30 day furlough, and while I was home on the 30 day furlough, Japan surrendered. Well, they gave me another 30 day furlough. <laughs> And so I wound up, I wound up going back to Fort Bragg, and they sent me over to Camp Butner. Uh, that's over at Durham, and I stayed over there until they closed that camp down. And uh, I was a, I was a PFC at that time, and they gave me a sergeant stripes. So I went from there to Fort Bliss, Texas, and they put me in a searchlight division. I'd never seen one in my life. <laughs> and I was a sergeant over two truck drivers, two, a searchlight, and a power plant that made the searchlight work, and it was about eight or ten men. <laughs> And they must have had a lot of confidence in you. Well, they must have had more than I had myself. <laughs> I'd, never, I'd never seen a searchlight except off in the distance, shining, you know. <laughs> so at that point, the war was over, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So how long, so overall, how long were you in the Army? I liked about 10 days being two years. Two years, okay. And then you came home, and you were, what, 20? 21, 20, there? Uh, 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 between 20 and 21. Okay. And at that point, had you met your wife? Uh, after I came home, uh, well, I, I met her before I went to, went in service. Her mother, her mother worked down here. They used to make rugs down here on Main Street, uh -huh. and uh, so. Uh, I walked walked them home one day and told the grocers for them when I was on Warrior Mountain, and uh, I, I'd met her before, yeah. But we got together after I, I got out of the service and got married. Now, how many kids do you have? A boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. What's their name? Gary and Kathy. Gary and Kathy. Okay. Um, what's Kathy? Is is Kathy married? Kathy's married, and she's got she got a, a boy and a girl. And uh, she lives down in Greer, and she works at a hospital. She used to be a nurse at the doctor's office, but she's working now at the hospital do it, keeping records for the hospital. How about Gary? Is he? Gary does yard work and, uh -huh. and care takes for some of our homes and all what I've done for 40 years. Okay. Here. Does he have, does he, so you have two grandchildren? I got two grandchildren and two great grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Wow. Okay. It's been in twos for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come in not twos. Like your, not like your father, huh? <laughs> they, they, they come in twos. They, yeah, they're they're not, it's, it's, it's not. It's not twenty nine. <laughs> so they got it down to two. <laughs> yeah. Now, how are you related to Charlene? Charlene, my sister in law.
Well, J.B., uh, uh, me and him was always worked together, you know, not not really worked together, but if we had something to do, one half the other, and, and you know, and we got along fine. He was more like a brother to me because I could... I, uh huh? Close in age. Yeah. So JB is number 25. Yeah. JB was about 18 months older than me. Well, let me ask you a question about that. Well, you know he didn't. You know. <laughs> he did not? I, I don't ever remember. Him telling the young and he loved them, or my mother ate the one. Did he change, did he change diapers? He may have, but I tell you, I tell you the the way my 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 family worked, from what I can understand about it, is the, the older older ones, the girls, took care of the babies and everything, and you know it, it, it just went on down the line as as they came along. It was just part of their responsibility, the older ones. Yeah. Yeah. My grandmother came from a family of 13, and she was the oldest, so she ended up taking care of the younger ones. And some, I remember her uh, siblings saying that they felt like she was more of a mother to them mm -hmm. than their yeah. mother, who was overwhelmed with 13 children. Well, my, my sister told me across the mountain, <coughs> it was about five, five, four or five miles out in the country, uh, when my daddy moved to Sluga, they told me, to the house. Huh? You're two years old when they moved. I was a baby. Yeah, because Jean was born after you moved over here. Well, I was a baby when, when they moved here. That's, that's what they tell me. That's all I know. About 18 months old. Mm hmm. You was born in November of 25 and they moved in April of 27. Mm hmm. Where were they before? Over oh, in Fort Creek area. Okay.